Well, here we have two examples, here we have two examples of silver two based same, digital C type prints. Um, two from the same negative, the matte, the matte and, and the gloss. The gloss. The gloss as you can see, each has a slightly warmer. different colour bias. The, the gloss is slightly uh, warmer, the, the matte a beautiful. touch cooler, and, uh, both very beautiful I papers. Let's have a closer look. look. You'll see. The crystal matte archive paper has a semi matte finish and a slightly stippled page. texture that gives the print slightly. a very natural photographic so finish and subtle colour and sheen. The, light, but not the effect so. is a pastel and, uh, painterly feel. A nice this is a versatile quality. paper giving a beautifully detailed three dimensional uh, photographic reproduction. Yes, the crystal so matte is um, perfect for those who like a more natural colour and subtle gradation of tone. See, it's a nice sheen. Nothing too hectic. The gloss paper. The gloss archival paper has quite a different look. Yeah, Certainly more reflective. Kind of crisper color. A paper crisper. with a punchier, Slightly richer crisper feel. Sort of definition, but the added contrast and glossiness creates a crisper print, and yet it maintains its tonal properties, an accurate the reproduction of the scene, albeit slightly warmer. I choose to use the crystal no, matte and gloss C type beautiful. papers because they are a cost effective, yet serious silver based paper that allows me to capture and preserve the original beauty of the scene. And offer those of you looking for something compelling at a lower price, the open edition C-Type series are just for you.